क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स टूडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ मशीन आवर रेट इन रिलेशन टू प्रोडक्शन ओवर एड्स प्रोडक्शन ओवर एड्स आर रिक्वायर टू बी अलोकेटेड टू डिफरेंट डिपार्टमेंट्स फॉर दैट पर्पज वी एडॉप्ट एब्सॉर्प्शन कॉस्टिंग मेथड सो दैट वी कैन अराइव एट परफेक्ट कॉस्ट ऑफ पर्टिक्युलर प्रोडक्ट ना हाउ प्रोडक्शन ओवर एड्स आर टू बी अलोकेटेड डिपेंड्स ऑन द वेरियस मेथड्स एंड पैरामीटर्स one of the parameter of dividing production over its is machine hour rates we use different machineries for production purpose these machineries are used in production process as per the requirement as per the length of the time or as per the details of processes so each machine devotes particular amount of time to produce a particular unit of product we are going to calculate the concept of we are going to find out machine hours taken by the machines to produce a particular product depending upon the machine hours taken by the machinery we are required to allocate the production overheads to that particular product which is produced by the machine let us go through the concept meaning machine hour rate is the cost of running a machine for 1 hour it means when you are using a machinery within a period of 1 hour how much cost gets incurred for example machinery if it is used for 1 hour there will be some amount of depreciation so that depreciation will become what cost of running that machinery for that particular 1 hour machinery requires electricity so how much electricity is consumed by the machinery during that period of 1 hour a worker is required to handle the machinery we call him an operator how much operator salary is there for a period of 1 year so that all comes in 1 hour cost of that particular machinery under this method machine hours are used as a basis for production over its absorption rate absorption means to include the cost of that particular machinery in our total cost to arrive at the product cost the rate is calculated as follows machine hour rate is equal to production over its divided by machine hours production over its we are required to collect information from the various source documents the amount of production over its we are required to collect the information codify them classify them and finally we are required to absorb them in our calculation suitability this method is suitable where major portion of production is performed by machinery where the role of machinery is more important in process of production in mechanized system or automated system the concept of machine hours becomes more relevant advantages it takes into account time factor the time and effort these are the two parameters on which cost is measured how much time is devoted and how much efforts are put to produce a particular product therefore in this method as machine hours are based on time concept it is having more advantage it is suitable when major portion of production is performed by machines it facilitates ascertainment of accurate and reliable cost the under absorption of overheads would indicate the ideal capacity of machinery if machinery is not fully used it will be waste of resources if there is idle time it will indicate that the management is failing to use the full capacity of the machinery leading to the loss for the business disadvantages it is not suitable where major part of production is done by manual labor where there is lesser number of machineries or less use of machineries in production process this method is not relevant it requires the detailed record of machines for each job or operation for that purpose we need proper system of collecting all information relating to cost based on the source document requisition slips etc 
it is difficult to understand and calculate which requires statistical methods and the knowledge of production process therefore it is difficult to calculate it is quite difficult to estimate machine hours in advance when we actually use machineries we come to know about the actual machine hour consumed therefore it is difficult in advance to estimate the cost of that particular machinery in relation to machine hours so estimated cost calculation becomes a bit difficult under this method example factory overheads is rupees 12000 machine hours 1000 a job number 101 requires 100 machine hours so first we are required to calculate machine hour rate the formula is production overheads divided by machine hours production overheads we have 12,000 machine hours given in the question 1000 so 12,000 divided by 1000 rupees 12 is our machine hour rate overhead offset by job number one will be 100 machine hours so 100 multiplied by 12 which comes to 1200 computation of machine hour involves following steps now let us discuss how machine hour rate is calculated step wise the first step is what treat each machine as separate cost center if an organization is having four to five machine we need to calculate machine hours for individual machine so each machine requires a different type of expenses cost therefore each machine is considered as separate cost center a portion standing fixed charges as shown below standing charges means fixed cost for example rent of factory area where all machineries are being kept so this rent is common expense which is required to be allocated between all machineries so rent is a standing charge which we require to divide allocate between the machineries equitably or suitably that we are required to do example rent and rates based on floor area occupied each machinery requires depending upon its size depending upon its weight height a different floor area so floor area occupied that ratio we can use for dividing the amount of rent heating and lighting number of light points required by that particular machinery or floor area occupied supervision that is time devoted by the supervisor insurance insured value of each machine that depends upon the value of each machine lubricating oil consumable stores based on machine hours cleaning materials that is number of machines miscellaneous expenses equitable basis based on the facts one thing we are required to note here standing and fixed charges vary with time and not with use of machineries next we are required to calculate the machine hours for each machine for a particular period that is year particular year particular quarter period of three months monthly basis or weekly basis what we are required to follow number of working days that is point a 365 days in a year minus holidays on which machineries are not used we are required to find out the actual number of days where machineries are used next we have number of working hours available per day it means for example shift of eight hours where machinery is used in a day or there is possibility of two shifts that means 16 hours are used by that machinery per day so we are required to know our multiplication number of days multiplied by number of hours each day less we are required to deduct once we got total number of working hours we are required to deduct hours required for maintenance every machinery requires repairs and maintenance some time is devoted on daily basis weekly basis or monthly basis for maintenance so that we can use those machineries efficiently for that purpose for some time we are required to keep machineries unused available for maintenance so that much time gets not available for actual production so that amount is deducted hours required for maintenance 
productive machine hours if setup time is given assumed to be productive each machinery requires some time for its setup you cannot immediately start production when the day starts so that setup time if it is considered productive we are required to consider that time also productive machine hours if setup time is given assumed to be productive less unproductive setup time if given and assumed to be unproductive sometimes if machineries are not properly handled by the workers there is possibility of unnecessary waste of time that will be considered as unnecessary waste unproductive time required for setup of machinery therefore that time we are required to deduct from the whole hours finally we get machine hours that is e minus f next formula we are required to use standing charges per machine hours we are required to calculate that is fixed hours total standing charges that is total fixed cost divided by the total number of machine hours as calculated above we get standing charges per machine hour we are required to calculate running charges for each machine some charges may be apportioned as shown below first depreciation it will based on useful and value of machine given in hours secondly repairs and maintenance based on machine hours power consumption meter reading horsepower and machine hours miscellaneous expenses equitable basis based on the facts one thing we are required to note here running charges vary with the use of machine more use means more running charges in other words they are variable in relation to standing charges variable cost varies with the output if output rises variable cost will rise if output falls variable cost will fall if output is zero this variable cost will be zero calculate hourly rate for running expenses per machine we are required to use the formula running charges per machine similar to standing charges total running charges divided by machine hours calculation of machine hour rate as follows fixed or standing charges per hour plus running charges per hour is equal to machine hour rate the final machine hour rate is used in absorption costing the distinction between standing fixed charges and running charges is important in marginal costing this is what we are required to understand for the convenience of the students we are required to understand the format by which we can calculate machine hours the following format can be used for computing machine hour rate here first part shows standing charges rent and rates heating and lighting supervision insurance lubricating oil and consumable stores sundry supplies and cleaning materials departmental and general overheads thereby we get total fixed and standing charges if we divided by number of hours we get what the rate per hour next component of the format is running charges that is variable cost depreciation of machinery repairs in maintenance power consumption machine operators remuneration other running expenses this total will be putting here and per unit we'll get here finally we get machine hour rate by adding this per hour values when wages are paid to machine operator are included it is known as comprehensive machine hour rate here we have not added the amount of wages paid to the operator if we add that and we find out the machine hour it will be called as comprehensive machine hour rate that is what we are required to remember so today we have learned the concept of machine hour rate its format and the various formulas thanks for watching this video
Stay in tune with Ikeda and subscribe to our channel Ikeda. Thank you.